Happy Kids TV. The Holy Tales. Hello, kids. Welcome back. Hello, Holy. It is time for you to tell us a story. Well, do you know how Jesus brought together all of his twelve disciples? N uh. All right then. Today, I am going to tell you the story about how Jesus brought in fishermen and a few other men to follow him and make them his disciples. Who is a disciple, Holy? Um, a disciple is a person who believes in someone and follows his ideas and philosophies. Come on, now let us begin with the story. Okay. Long, long time ago, one day, Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, and as he walked down, he passed boat after boat after boat. The sea was actually a big, beautiful lake where many fishermen would gather to catch fish. All day long, hard-working fishermen would work at the lake, emptying their nets. And getting ready to go back in the water, or gathered their day's catch to sell in the market. As Jesus walked along the shores of the Sea of Galilee, he walked past many such boats, and watched two men working on a particular boat. These men were Simon and his brother Andrew. Both Simon and Andrew were working very hard. And were really frustrated about not catching any fish the night before. Andrew and Simon had met Jesus before, when John the Baptist had introduced them to him right after he was baptized. However, that meeting was for a very short while. Jesus walked up to Andrew and Simon and said. Could you please put your boat out in the water for a little while? Andrew and Simon agreed. Jesus stepped onto the boat and started teaching from there. People who were walking by the shore and even the fishermen who were working in their boats stopped to listen to Jesus' teaching. After Jesus was done teaching, he turned to Simon and said. Go out deeper into the sea and put down your nets. Simon was hesitant. He said, "Lord, we spent all night trying to catch fish, but we haven't even caught a single one. But only because you are asking, I will do so and put down the nets." As soon as Simon and Andrew let down their nets. They caught thousands and thousands of fish, almost breaking their nets. They waved to their friends James and John in the next boat, seeking help. They filled in the boat with the fish they caught, but the boat was full and was beginning to sink. Simon was shocked and amazed. He bowed down to Jesus and said, "Lord." I am a sinner, and you should not be near me," Jesus calmly replied. "Come, follow me, and I shall make you fishers of men." Andrew, Simon, James, and John left everything and went with Jesus immediately. They left behind their boats, their nets. The fish they caught, and everything that they had with them. They did not doubt Jesus at all. They had all the faith and trust in him. This way, Jesus asked twelve men to follow him, and they became his disciples. All these men believed in Jesus, and had immense faith in what he said. They helped Jesus to spread God's word to other people all around the world, and hence they were known as the fishers of men. 
However, not all these twelve disciples of Jesus were fishermen. They all came from different lines of work and different families. They were also not perfect. But they all believed in Jesus, and that's what made them follow him. So, did you like the story? Of course we did, Holy. It was a wonderful story. <laughs> I am glad. Bye, Holy. See you soon. Bye-bye, kids. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole world in his hand.